There is a very good reason why the buckets on this turbine wheel are this shape. If you had a single scoop, the water would come in here, hit it, turn the wheel, that's good, but then some of it would splash back and hit the bucket behind. That's inefficient. This is about controlling how the water gets out as well as how it gets in. With the splitter in place, water comes in, hits it, pushes the wheel, but then is sort of scooped straight out in two even streams. It's efficient. That's how they get to 92% efficiency here. The reason this has to be sharp, and why I've just been sharpening it, I can demonstrate with this. Here's my bucket, my scoop. Here is the splitter, nice and sharp. And here comes my flow of water fresh from the dam. And as it hits, the splitter is dividing it between the two sides of the bucket. And that's not bad. I've lost some ping pong balls, but they've ended up pretty much evenly distributed between the two sides. Maybe we've got 92% efficiency there. Right, we can reset and demonstrate how it would work with a less sharpened splitter. Right, so all I'm doing is turning this over. It's got a blunt edge. It hasn't been sharpened. Same process. Switch on water coming all the way from our dam. Hitting the bucket at the very end. And it's, it's a disaster. Every ping pong ball flying away is more water not being used to push the turbine wheel. You won't stand a chance of hitting 92 odd percent efficiency. And now we've got to tidy up their turbine hole. Sorry. Above the turbine, where the water hits the buckets, is the generator which creates the electricity. And they're connected by a massive 25 tonne metal shaft. directly above that turbine beneath me. It's turning as the water pushes it round. This is the output shaft. And that means the turbine has done a very clever thing. It's turned linear motion of the water moving along into rotary, circular motion. In the old days, that would be a water wheel. You'd use this to grind corn or even sharpen knives. Here, they're using it to make electricity. And how they do that is pretty simple. This is in miniature what's happening here. It's a bicycle dynamo line. And if I persuade it to come apart, you'll see that when your bicycle wheel turns this shaft on the end, this shaft on the end of it is a magnet. Magnets are a funny thing. Move a magnet around a conductive metal like copper and it moves tiny particles inside it, electrons. And moving electrons, that is electricity. And so if I reassemble my little dynamo here, I'm going to see if I can use a bit of their power to make my own. I'm stealing their power. <laughs> so that is water from the dam turning that gigantic turbine to turn both the enormous generator above and my tiny bicycle one here and light this light. I mean, it would be a lot of trouble to go for if that's all it did. It's on a bigger scale than this.